Good morning. So that is Shem. This out of Shabbos will be Lagba Omer. And as we know, that out of Pace, out of Shabbos, is connected to Purim, which is out of Shabbos. So the idea of the Rashbi was the idea of learning Torah. And that's why it says regarding to Rashbi that he interrupted his Torah in order to do mitzvahs. So the idea is that not that he did mitzvahs. He interrupted his Torah to do mitzvahs. So we see that Rashbi, his whole Indian was learning Torah. And not just the Indian of learning Torah, but also Pnimis HaTorah. Zayar, Pnimis HaTorah. So we see what it, what it has to be the main focus of Lag Ba'imer is the idea of Torah. Torah makes it, the soul happy. It makes us happy, Tata, that you find out a new concept in Tata, a new idea in Tata, that in itself makes a person happy. And that's what we see, that when the world needed rain, he said a pasuk in Tata. So we see over here is that the idea of the Rashbi, that even when he went into the Ma'ara, into the cave, that means he was reported by Rabbi Yehuda that he said the only thing that the Romans do is only for their own sake. So he was sentenced to be killed, so he was sent to the Mara, to the cave. He ran away. So he learned Tate over there. Until even after the twelfth year, which we know that even a Russia, we don't say Kaddish for a deceased person more than eleven months, because we don't consider him for as a big Russia. And a Russia is only twelve months. But when he comes out, he sees right away people, uh, people uh, working and everything else. What are you going to do with Tata? Why are they occupying themselves with life, with the worldly things? And wherever they look, the place is burning, burnt. Tavish should tell them, get back to the Mara. So he's there for another year. And the 13th year, which we know 12 is connected to Atsilos. And 13 is much higher. He, they both left, and wherever was hit, I mean, Shimon was the one that fixed it up, well, healed it. And then he said that we can, we can take care of all the hidden when they are in a time of need. And he can uh, take away the punishment of judgment. But we know a punishment to a Jew is only to bring him to a higher level. There's a purpose for punishment. That's to bring you to a higher level. So what, are we going to be missing that? So we say no. Rabbi Shimon will make sure that you're a fa- you, you get the salvation even afterwards. But we see over here, Rabbi Rashbi was the main thing of Tera. And the idea of Avas Yisrael. 
which is brought down in the Zaya regarding to Avas Hashem. That we have to love Hashem. But not love Hashem only, but love the Yidin too, because it says three times in of uh, love. So Beza Hashem, Sai with the Yidin of Simcha Srashbi, as we know that Rabbi Avram, a Talmud of the Arizal, he used to say Nachem every single day for the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash. And he also used to say it on Shabbos and Yom Tif. He came to Miran one year and he said Nachem. Rashbi was very upset with him. He had a kepeid on him. A harsh hardship, a uh, something bad upon him. What's the reason for that is? Because this is a day of enjoyment of the Rashbi. And as we said before, the Taylor is enjoyment. But we have to be happy on the day of the Ilula of the Rashbi. So Be'ez Hashem, as Rashbi says, Yafin Be'i Migelusa Berachamim, with the Zoya will go out of Golos with passion and pity. So Be'ez Hashem, with the Achlot Teva, of being the Simcha, Avas Yisrael, learning Teira on Lagba Eimer, will go towards the Gula Amitis Vashlema. And Nachman al Tzlan, if someone didn't do on, on, uh, on Lagba Eimer, he still has Tashlumim for Shabbos and Sunday and so forth. So they should help that through the Achlatas Tevis regarding to Lagba Eimer will go through towards the Gula Mitzvah Shlema through the Rebbe Malach HaMashiach. Take it from Yad now. Long live a master teacher and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live a master teacher and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live a master teacher and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever.